All right, this is a 2011 Ram that I know very little about. It belongs to my grandfather. It's got the equivalent of about hmm, 9,000 kilometers for every year of life on the odometer. And it has a very sticky caliper because, yeah, it doesn't move very often. So the goal tonight is, first of all, exploratory. We're hoping to get in there and discover, huh, eh, not a big deal, which is not what will happen. But hopefully we can free it up and get it moving for very little dollars with very little knowledge. It'll be fun. It'll be good. <laughs> oh. And you might be able to do it. I don't know. I don't know you. If you waste your time watching this video at the end of it, I cannot guarantee you'll be wiser, but I can definitely guarantee you'll be older. Here we go. Now, sometimes when, you know, wheels haven't been off in a while, they stick, so... Sometimes when wheels haven't been off in a while, they stick, so you need to get yourself an appropriately sized hammer. Don't go hitting the rim and breaking stuff. Just a little bit of patience, a little bit of persuasion. No okay, way. I'll show you what we're dealing with here. This is the caliper. I got it off and everything separated. It was remarkably easy. These four bolts. The two big ones. One is in that hole right there, through from the back. One is down here, through from the back, two little ones right there, and on the bottom. Make sure you get the right size socket. For me, it was a 13 and a, I don't even remember, 21, I think. I'll tell you later when I put it back together. And then just a little pry came right off. I loosened the bolts before I removed this big bracket, because otherwise holding it still is a real pain. Now I can take the caliper off of the mount, which I've already done. What I'm hoping to be able to do is grease it inside those rubbers. Everybody's like, no, just get a new caliper. I'm going to have to get a new caliper. I get it. And I will get a new caliper. But tonight, I'd like to be able to just roll the truck, you know? I'm going to put so. some grease down in there, let it sit a while, and then get a clamp or something and see if we can get those moving back in. So I can move them in, I know I can move them out. Okay, what to we'll use? See. Well, the last time I had to do this was in a meadow. Yep. On an island that you can only get to by ferry. I kid you not. And all I had was this stuff. In fact, I didn't even have it. My friend had some for bike chains. And it worked really well. Like, accomplished the goal, still working, calipers still going many miles later. I was impressed. So... I've used many things, but I grabbed this one because the last time I used it, it was awesome. Anyway, bike chain lubricant for wet conditions. It really doesn't matter. We just want to make okay, it. So all I did was take this C-clamp, fasten it somewhere where it won't break anything. In this case, on that side of the caliper, not on top of the hose. We don't need more problems. And just tightened her down. And it moved, and it moved really, really quite easy. So... I'm going to try to free these brake pads up a little bit because, you know, they're in stellar shape. They're not at all. This is, you know, they need attention, like replaced. But for now, we're going to just put just a little bit, a little bit of stuff right in there so they'll move and do the stuff and the thing. And pretty soon we're going to have a separated brake pad to deal with. So we're going to put changing those on the tomorrow list. For sure. Okay, so here it is, all back together. Put the mount on first. These are 21 mil bolts. This is where they go. Right in there, right in there. And then settled this in on top, 13 mil. You can hold these back with a wrench if you need to. I didn't need to. Tighten them all up. Everything turns the way it should. We're gonna clean it up a little bit, put the wheel back on. Take it for a drive. If you've never done brakes before, they're gonna be super spongy, just so you know, till that caliper, till those pistons come back into place because we pushed them back some, so just be aware of that. All right, we're done. Wheels back on. I haven't taken it for a drive yet. Actually, I went inside, <clears throat> had my shower, got started to settle in on supper, and I thought, shoot, there's something very, very important I need to tell you. Remember those things just a few seconds ago? I said, these 13 mil bolts, put them in here. You can hold these back. And I pointed at something. The thing I pointed at is called a slide pin. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. And they are, well, as the name suggests, they're supposed to slide. 
And if they don't slide, then you have a stuck slide pin, not a stuck caliper piston, in which case this video doesn't help you much. If you put all that back together with a stuck slide pin, you're in trouble. Dealing with that is a completely different process. The pin needs to slide. I already knew that wasn't my problem because I had, well, crawled underneath this truck in a mud hole on the side of the road and moved it around. And I knew the slide pins, they were a sliding. So off camera, I just pulled them out, put a little bit of pen lubricant on them, put them back in. I didn't show you that because, well, I'm just not very thoughtful like that. I didn't promise you'd be wiser. I just said you'd be older. Anyway, if you got a stuck caliper, you're stuck somewhere on the side of the road, this might get you home. I wish you the best. You might be able to do it. I don't know. I don't know you.